today so today we are going to make fish and uh, I've got these pasta fillets um, which are uh, skinned and boned and there you go I have got the pieces frozen pieces of fish out and um, I'm going to use a lemon wedge to sprinkle on the um, frozen um, fish pasta fish and then okay so I'm going to add ketchup and if you have soy sauce it's good otherwise you can use um, your sister shy sauce um, yeah this is an option you might want to add it you might not want to add it but the real thing is seasonings, lemon juice and ginger garlic. So I'm going to put spread evenly um, ginger garlic. Then I'm going to add salt and I'm then going to add pepper. Oh, I have to twist it because and I need to bring my hand to twist it because it's a milk one. So uh catch you later. Okay, so uh, I've spread the ginger garlic, um, so this is the marination and I'm going to leave the um, fish uh, for a few hours because this is uh, breakfast time and I will not cook it before lunch time at noon. So I'm going to leave it this way, but when I am in rush and I don't have time to, you know, marinate it, uh, then what I do is I put it in the microwave. Uh, for three minutes um, and you know um, let the um, um, uh, the marination mixture um, absorb and seep into the fish uh, so this is what the purpose of all of these uh, ingredients of the marination is that when gradually the fish starts to thaw uh, whether it's uh, naturally or in the microwave the um, marination uh, on top is going to seep into the fish and you know make it um, uh, tasty for you for your palate okay so you can see that at noon uh, the uh, fish is pretty much soft the frozen fish has thawed because you can see the frozen water and at the same time you can see that the marination is pretty much complete so I'm just going to drain off the water and then I'm going to fry it and I'm also going to fry this crumb fish you know it's just ready made uh, ready to fry and eat and I'm also going to make uh, bacon ke pakore today yep what is um, um, pakore pakore are made from uh, snacks uh, made from chickpea flour so I'm going to um, use this uh, flour um, put in seasonings and make a batter to make pakoras and uh, what is bengan? Bengan is actually eggplant um, so in the pan uh, frying pan I'm just going to uh, I just put in oil uh, I usually keep fried oil separate because I don't just throw them after frying uh, pakoras or fish so I'm going to use that because the nutrients or fat fat um, soluble nutrients uh, uh, usually seep into the oil so this is why I keep it healthy until the oil is really burnt or really dark um, to not use because then it is unhealthy so I'm going to fry uh, the crumb fish for, uh, first uh, for my father and then I will um, uh, fry the so in the chickpea flour I'm going to add salt, uh, you can add salt as per your taste and of course pakoras definitely need more turmeric than usual. 
also a heat full of turmeric and again uh, if you like spicy you can add more red chili otherwise level uh, coffee spoon I use and um, my mom just expressed interest in you know having those uh, uh, chickpea parathas so I, I gave her an option of um, chickpea pancakes so this is what I'm going to make and I'm just going to put in salt uh, one egg uh, add milk so while um, the crumped fish is cooking uh, this is crumped fish as well as uh, prawns for my father I am going to focus on um, the uh, chickpea uh, pakora uh, basin uh, bengan ke pakora yeah. I have to cut uh, eggplant yet and I'm also going to make um, uh, the uh, chickpea pancakes um, I'm just going to try it for the first time uh, usually we put in wholemeal flour or um, mixed flour, corn flour and wholemeal uh, wheat flour but today I'm going to try with chickpea uh, how do the pancakes come out let's try Okay, so the crumb fish is done, so I'm just going to wrap it until served and I am going to fry the um, marinated fish now. I've already drained the water. So <coughs> I'm going to put the bottom in first so that the bottom side is clean you know for six weeks of clean every protein that protein coagulates so i'm going to seal the bottom side of the fish first so that the marination on top can be while it is cooking okay so i'm just going to the chickpea and milk mixture. I have to add egg yet in order to make chickpea pancakes. Uh, something that I'm trying for the first time, so let's see how it goes. And at the same time, I have also ready the batter for um, bacon to the corn. So the bacon is the egg time and the corn is a fried stack food. Uh, vegetable or in a batter, fried in a batter. So there you go. I think it's done. And now I have to get back to the chickpea flour and add uh, egg to it. So I put the egg inside and I'm going to beat the batter and probably I'll be using a little bit of more milk so when I put my phone um, sorry about the um, uh, movement of the phone but I have to hold it with one hand because when I put it on top of the stand the camera stand um, I got from Amazon uh, it is only you know focused on right underneath the stand uh, area so if you watched my uh, pulao recipe um, pea pulao uh, or peas pulao or matar pulao um, uh, most of the pot was uh, like 50% yeah 50% visible because of the fixed camera um, okay anyways let's let's proceed and do the beating So I'm just going to slice this uh, eggplant um, and or brinjal and I am going to dip them in the batter that I have prepared over here and then fry. Yeah. And these are bingan So with brinjal, uh, it's a good idea to slice them and then keep them with salt and pepper, some seasonings to taste and I also add cinnamon powder to it. Just to bring out the flavors. I'm going to leave it for say 20 minutes um, while I say my uh, 
Okay, so now I'm going to try the chickpea first pancake. So I've just greased uh, the bottom of this open karahi, our frying wall, and I'm just going to pour in. Yeah, the fish is also on the side, so I can keep an eye on both. And there we go. So let's see how the first pancake. Just check if the sides are ready to put it and then turn it upside down to cook the top part as well and same goes for the fish i think they're ready to be turned as well so now that the bottom has been peeled oh i will need two hands here we go i have not only flipped the uh, chickpea pancake the first one but i've also um uh, change the size of the fish. I think the chickpea pancake is coming up pretty good. So let's see how it tastes. Okay, now it's time to take out the uh, uh, brin brinjal pakore, uh, pakora. Uh, Bengan ka pakora. And I'm going to again go through the same process. Take a slice, dip it in the batter, and then put it in the frying pan for frying. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I've already put the uh, brinjal in there, and I'm just going to take it out and place it gently here. I'm going to repeat the process. One slice. Dip it. And then gently place it in the frying pan. So here we are. Uh, we've got the, uh, um, the marinated fish and we've got the crumb fish. And I made Bengan Kipokore, which is brinjal or eggplant um, pakore and uh, snack, the main dish, and bread. So over here, this is a new thing. I've tried it for the first time and it's delicious. They are chickpea um, pancakes. So uh, enjoy the meal. I, I still have to make a vegetable salad.